My favorite way to start my day is by reading someone's awesome ideas. So get comfy, grab a cup of tea if you'd like, breathe and relax before we get to a nice stretching routine. This is a passage from How to Live by Derek Sivers. Change your need to change things. In your most peaceful moments, your mind is quiet. You're not thinking you should be doing anything else. When everything feels perfect, you say, I wouldn't change a thing. So live your life in this mindset. Don't hope. Hope is wanting things to be different than they are. Wanting to change yourself is self-loathing. There's no deeper happiness than wanting nothing. Desire is the opposite of peace. People will appreciate your silence and know that when you speak, it must be important. Shallow rivers are noisy. Deep lakes are silent. Silence is precious. Silence is the one thing all religions have in common. Silence is the only way to hear quiet wisdom. Most trouble is caused by action. No action, no trouble. Most actions are a pursuit of emotions. You think you want to take action or own a thing, but what you really want is the emotion you think it'll bring. So skip the actions. Go straight for the emotion. Practice feeling emotions intentionally instead of using actions to create them. You don't need marriage to feel security. Marriage doesn't make you secure. You don't need recognition to feel pride. Recognition doesn't give you pride. You don't need a beach to feel tranquility. Places don't make emotions. You do. Your whole experience of life is in your mind. Focus on your internal world, not external world. When a problem is bothering you, it feels like you need to do something about it. Instead, identify what belief is really the source of your trouble. Now replace that belief with one that doesn't bother you. Your emotions insist they need you to respond. When you ignore the urges, they go away too. Observe yourself. Your own mind is the best laboratory. It's also the most private and peaceful place to work. To be wise, shut out all media and opinions. No news, no gossip, no entertainment. Most of it is just not worth knowing. The unintelligent jump to conclusions. The wise just observe. Wisdom comes from removing the junk, lies, and obstacles to clear thinking. Instead of learning more, get wise by learning less. Keep an empty head so you can observe clearly. The less you do, the more you can see. Observe and learn. Watch the world. So let's find somewhere to stretch out. This is a great routine to do first thing in the morning to open and awaken your joints. We'll begin by laying down on our backs, but don't start falling asleep because we're gonna be moving our knees side to side in a windshield wiper fashion. Keeping your arms and shoulders down to the ground. Move your knees back and forth as much as feels comfortable for you, pausing in each position for a few seconds. This is a great stretch for the spine, which generally gets stiff as we sleep. Move gently and make sure that it feels good. We will go for about 30 more seconds. And we will use this opportunity lying on our backs to move straight into a glute bridge march. So push your hips up to the ceiling, squeezing your backside as much as you can. And now to make this more challenging, as we drive the hips up, we will lift one foot off the ground. This places all of the weight into one hip, making that glute do all of the work. Alternate from side to side, and as best as you can, 
feel your booty getting a good pump. With all the sitting that we do, we often develop tight hip flexors and weak glutes. Sometimes the best stretch for the hip flexors is to develop more connection with your glutes. So 30 more seconds, let's do it. So as we wrap up our glute bridges, I want you to move into a sideline fetal-like position. It's amazing that this position actually signals to our body that we're safe. And the safer that you feel, the lighter and looser that you'll feel. So spend a few seconds on each side. And from here, we're going to move into what we like to call the overhead frog stretch. So widen your knees and sit your hips back towards your ankles. Then reach your arms overhead, pressing your hands into the ground. This is one of our favorite stretches to open the hips and to lengthen through the spine. A great one to do in the morning when your spine is a bit more stiff. From here, we can easily transition into laying flat on our bellies, then propping up onto our elbows into a cobra-like position. From here, think about opening your chest and driving the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. This is another fantastic one to open up that spine and any stiffness in the shoulders. Make sure to squeeze your glutes a little bit to keep the strain out of your lower back. Breathe and relax into it. So now go ahead and move yourself up into a seated position with your feet on the floor and your hands placed behind you. We'll start to get some gentle rotation for the hips. Drive one knee down towards the ground, feeling a nice stretch in the outside of your hip. Alternate side to side and see if over the course of a minute, you can get deeper and deeper into each hit. So one thing that I've found over the course of training my body for 15 years is it's very important to find balance. Most people will naturally gravitate towards one side of the spectrum, either hard, intense sessions with a lot of strength work or to the other side of the spectrum, not challenging your body much at all. It should be no surprise that if you constantly lift weights, run, or just sit in front of a computer all day, one day you'll wake up and realize, wow, I'm really tight. And now we will do five butterfly reps, pushing both knees down at the same time. But the key is to before injury, before you wake up realizing you're stiff as a board, is to implement some very easy, light stretching that only takes 10 to 15 minutes per day to prioritize your body's range of motion and health. So now we'll spend about a minute in our crab position. And first things first, let's get used to driving our shoulders down by lifting the hips off the ground and pressing the shoulders away from the ears. And notice that this is the opposite of what happens when we become stressed and our shoulders rise and we develop poor posture. And as you can see, you can start to circle your shoulders as well. And the main intention here is just to feel all the muscles that control the shoulders, the shoulder blades, and your rib cage. Most people don't realize how connected all of these are. And now we can start to lift those hips up towards the ceiling. And this will begin to give us a bigger stretch through the front of the shoulder. Explore. See where you feel a good stretch and find what feels good for you.
And now we will move into a nice seated glute stretch. Cross one foot over your other straight leg and grab your knee, pulling it towards your chest. Start to rotate your chest towards that knee. Feel your glute stretch and feel your spine twist as well. This is one of those stretches that you can do mindlessly and probably get nothing out of it. Or you can put a lot of good intention here and you can start to open up your hips and spine efficiently. And let's go ahead and switch to the other side for another 30 seconds. So lastly, we're gonna finish in a standing position. So slowly make your way up to your feet. Slowly reach your arms out to your side and then reach them all the way up to the sky overhead. Do your best to resist arching excessively through the low back. Now guide your hands down towards the ground, rounding through the spine, stretching the hamstrings, and let your body relax to the floor. And now taking your time and at your own pace, I want you to repeat two more of these, arms up overhead to arms down close to the ground. Now more than ever, it's important for us to start each morning with intention. It's too easy to be passive and consume mindlessly. Skip the email, skip the social media, skip the phone altogether. Read something that positively affects your mindset. Meditate, write some thoughts down, and do some movement that nourishes your body rather than depletes it. You may have grown up thinking that one way of working out is the best and the only way for you to make gains, but we have to be real with ourselves to know when something isn't serving us any longer. I used to not listen to my body. I used to punish my body because I thought that's what men do. These days, I'd rather feel good and move freely. If that resonates for you, then come back and do this again tomorrow. You can find more stretching and movement follow along routines at strengthside.com guided. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and as always, 